How come grocery stores don't clearly mark electronic doors when they know those things can be dangerous? How come shopping carts cling to their colleagues so as not to be used? Let it go. How come every shopping cart has at least one defective wheel? How come some people act as if choosing a carton of milk is like choosing a major appliance? Can I just hop in here for one second? Yeah, uh, just hold on a moment. How come the milk you get has a slow leak? Oh. How come you always take the one box that is essential to the continuing existence of the rest of the neatly stacked pile? How come you don't trust the expiration date on the product right up front and instead reach for one all the way in the back? How come the same guy that stole your parking spot is finished shopping the same time you are? How come they don't prosecute people who ignore the 10 item limit sign? How come the person in front of you always says something like this? Oh, this is for boys. Do you have it for girls? Or something like this? Oh, I have coupons. Do you have a pair of scissors I can borrow? Uh, yeah, just a minute. Let me find a pair. And how come people need to be retrained on how to write a check oh, once they get to the register? Hang on, I gotta do this again. Didn't work. How come those little white unwrapping aids sticking out of the top of Hershey Kisses never seem to do the job? How come they sell packages of 12 hot dog buns, but only 10 hot dogs? Hey! How come those little red unwrapping aids sticking out of the top of Band-Aids never seem to do the job? How come they can't do something about over-anxious plastic wrap? You know, the stuff that clings before it's time? How come they glue cereal boxes closed with the same stuff they use at NASA to keep the space shuttle together? Let's get back for one second, okay? Watch out, honey. There you go. All right, don't make a mess. How come they put the prize inside at the very depths of the cereal box so that a child has to bury himself in Fruit Loops to get to it? And how come potato chips explode if you open the bag too fast? How come no matter how much pain you have in your mouth, you still have to be forced to go to the dentist? Do it. Gotta do it. Gotta go. Come on. How come the dental hygienist who cleans your teeth is the same woman who scrapes barnacles off the ships in the harbor? Look at that tartar just fall off. How come the same dentist who told you never to pick your teeth with sharp objects picks your teeth with sharp objects first thing every visit? How come after you shake and scream, the dentist asks, I'm sorry, did that hurt? How come the dentist always seems to try and break a personal record of how many things he can fit in a mouth during your visit? There's one more thing, I've got to get in there. Oh, oh that'll feel better. How come when your mouth is filled with 20 or 30 instruments, the dentist wants to hold a conversation? So, what do you think of the conditions in the Middle East? Oh. How come needles in dentist offices look more like javelins? How come a dentist needs to poke 70 or 80 times with his javelin before he hits the right spot? Oh, darn. Oh, oh. I'll get it next time. Oh. I think he's numb enough. Watch this. How come after numbing your mouth, the dentist asks you to rinse? Mm -hmm. And how come if x-rays are so safe, the dentist runs out of the office? How come some people have to constantly be retrained on the international rules of self-service gas and how come you're always behind those people in line? How long have you been here? 20 minutes. I don't know. I think it's broken. It's not working. 
Yeah, did you pay the cashier first? I don't, do I have to pay first? I don't know, is that biferous? How come they can't make the gas hose just a little bit longer? How come there's always a little gas left in the nozzle after you're done pumping? How come gas station attendants don't wash your windows and check your oil anymore? My, uh, my windows are pretty dirty, and I'm about a quart low on oil. Thank you. How come gas caps mysteriously disappear after you've pumped your gas? Excuse me, did you see my gas cap? Yeah, it just took off up there. Look at that thing. Get back here! How come they don't sell automobile accessories at gas stations? Do you have jumper cables? Oh, we got Marlboros, Merritt's, and Benson and & Hedges. How come they sell cigarettes when you're not allowed to smoke them there? How come the water you're supposed to use to clean your windows looks like it came from Mission Bay after a sewage spill? And how come there isn't a nationwide manhunt for the guy who goes around stealing the keys to men's rooms, forcing men to use the ladies' rooms? Another minute. How come the guy in front of you in the drive through line is the only guy in the civilized world who doesn't have the I menu at a here. fast food restaurant memorized? Hi. Hi. You got a problem, Hi, sir? Oh, I'm just trying to figure out what I want to eat. Well, this place is uh, called Burger World. Yeah? How about a hamburger? They have burgers here? How come they always try to get you to buy some new fast food concoction that you know is going to be awful and will last on the menu for about another week? Hi, welcome to Burger World. Would you like to try our Red Snapper peanut butter burger? How come the drive through attendant never feels as if you've ordered enough food? Would you care for any shakes? No, thanks. How about some cookies? No, no, thanks. How about an apple pie? No! How come some drive through windows are convenient only if you're the driver of an 18-wheel big rig truck? Hi, that would be 264. How come you always nestle the soft drink at a drive through window between your legs when you know they never put the lid all the way on? How come you can't rip open the ketchup packs at fast food restaurants without ripping your teeth out first? How come they always get your order wrong at the drive through window? It's as if they do it on purpose. <laughs> What'd you give them? I gave them that red snapper peanut butter sandwich. <laughs>
diagram, Gary, here shows that your heart rate goes between 60 and 70, about 50 to 70 percent of the time, and that progressively goes up to the higher heart rates, where that up to a rate of 150, about 3 percent of the time your heart rate is going 150. This represents the time that you're playing basketball and those kind of things. And this is since we checked it last time, uh, so that most of the time your heart rate is slower, but most of your time is spent uh, either sitting, doing nothing, or, or sleeping, or, uh, or having a good time. Well, the uh, synchrony pacemaker is a pacemaker that uh, incorporates the ability to increase the heart rate as the patient needs an increase in the heart rate as well as supplying a pacemaker that uh, is what we call a dual chamber pacemaker that is able to stimulate the activity in both chambers, both the upper chambers and the lower chamber of the heart. And that's the way our normal heart works. This then more closely simulates the action of the activity of the normal heart. We are able by looking at the histogram to get a prior record of how often the patient had a fast heart rate what percentage of time he had a slow heart rate, knowing what the patient needs and his current activity level, then we can then determine whether this is appropriate for this patient or not. If we feel a patient needs to have a faster heart rate, a greater percentage of the time, then we can reprogram.